The theme for this year's National Road Safety Week is Stop Speeding, Don't Drink and Drive, Stay Alive. With a 37% increase in fatal road accidents this year, the authorities are calling on road users to change the current culture and observe the road safety rules. Traffic Chief Acton Superintendent Ramesh Ashram, during the launch of National Road Safety Week Monday at the Parliament Park in Georgetown, provided a breakdown on the fatalities this year. For 2020, there is 115 accidents resulting in 125 deaths. Out of these deaths, five are children. Compared to 2019, where there were 84 accidents resulted in 94 deaths of which eight were children. Out of those accidents, a significant bond were caused as a result of speeding, result of speeding, coupled with drinking and driving. To date, the Traffic Force Department, through its enforcement program, has been able to charge 46,266 persons for not adhering to the traffic rules. 19,179 were charged for exceeding speed limits, 786 were charged for driving under the influence of alcohol, 986 charged for failure to wear safety belts, and 1,924 charged separately each for breaching traffic light signals and being on their phones. Minister of Home Affairs Robinson Ben further said that statistics reveal that during the weekends between the hours of 6 p.m. and 12 a.m. is when most accidents occur. The presence of adequate numbers of traffic police on the roads at these times has to be addressed. So it is clear, based on the statistics that have been provided to me, I didn't generate them myself, that at those times, you have fatal accidents. And at, at those times, from observation, we need to have a greater presence of policing, of engagement, of intervention from the traffic police and others. It is clear too that motorcyclists and bicyclists make up disproportionate numbers of victims. The activities scheduled for National Road Safety Week include distribution of helmets, high visibility vests and reflector lights to motorcyclists and cyclists found without any of these items. A motorcycle education awareness campaign as majority of the accidents involved motorcyclists this year, a prize given ceremony for a minibus competition, a symposium with the Ghana Association of Professional Engineers and the launch of the Defensive Road Use Program. National Road Safety Week starts November 23rd and ends November 30th. Reporting for the newsroom, I am Isanella Patwal.